Hey, welcome back to another Black Sheep Performance video. Um, this one's gonna be short. Uh, so we got the CCS Bench Flash tunes with the uh, switch on the fly option. Uh, so this came from Dirt Diesel. So did the tunes, the ECU tuning. This I just got from Amazon, just cause this one only has one for the switch. Um, there's other ones that have another hole on this side. I didn't want that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, you got your switch here, your face plate, and your knob. You got your connector for your CAC plug on the cold air charge pipe. So this is this doesn't go on the fuel on the fuel sensor. Uh, so yeah, and I got a hanger here to install it. My truck already had the hood latch grommet cut into it for the airbag gauge. Um, so we're just gonna add, we're just gonna add the sensor through there. Almost forgot it comes with this little template. If you wanna drill into your dash or center console or whatever, and then it comes with this little Allen key because that's how you tighten the knob onto the switch. Okay, so that's the gauge that I have, the airlift airbag gauge. Um, so, I just noticed that they actually, they made a hole for those wires. Um, so that's where I'm going to try to go in through. Okay, let's go on the engine bay and pull it out. And then that little bracket I got, um, it goes bolted on these right here. This is your OBD reader. So you take these nuts out, I'm assuming, put the bracket on there, put them back on there, and then the switch will go nicely mounted on there. Instead of drilling holes here, or, you know, I don't know. Okay. That's where mine is coming out. Sorry. So we're just gonna pull it out as much as we can. There goes the hanger. Um, I'm gonna see what's the cleanest way to do it. If we go through here, under here, and then this is this is where it's gonna go. We're actually not gonna use that wire loom that it comes with, just cause I don't know. I don't like the way that looks. I have some leftover of this like braided nylon, and then we're gonna use uh, some shrink tubing. Okay, you wanna pull it out um, after you cut it to size, pull it out uh, towards the engine bay. To, this side you have to do with tape, um, just cause you, I couldn't get a, a shrink tubing piece in there. And then pull it out all the way like this. You put the shrink tubing in there first, and then you put your wires, your wire connectors, inside the plug, inside the connector. And then it goes on your CAC connector, this one here. On my 2021 is right there. I've heard some other models have it in the bottom. Mine has it there. So you're gonna disconnect this, and it's actually gonna be plugged into there. Okay, you come back over here by your puddles. You pull it back, back to about right here. This is, it's gonna be mounted somewhere right there. So you, you see how you pull this back? Now it's gonna look clean over here. See, it's, it's all gonna be in this. Oh. I routed mine through here, here, through here, like this. And I'm gonna zip tie it. Just and I don't know some some things. Um, and I was gonna go like this, but I'm actually going to take this connector out of here, out of this fir tree, out of this uh, zip tie fir tree right here, and then it's gonna be somewhere down there. 
zip tied so it, it's out of the way, you know, so you don't see all this mess. Okay, so I don't know, I'm using some, some little wire cutters to take this out of the, sorry, to take this out of there. This is just like a hose, like a little clamp or whatever you want to call it. It just comes off. You don't have to break it or anything. This one is also one of these metal clips. See that? And this was just right there. So you just pull it out like that. And then now uh, we're going to take this, connect it. Actually, I might route the switch on a fly cable down this way just so it's out of the way yeah let's do that you can see making the engine bay cleaner too okay i want to pass this the original um sensor wire limb i want to pass it through here um i'm just just going to take this off push it out the way so i can get that wire limb through there Okay, so we got that 10 millimeter bolt out of there. We're gonna lift it. And this is the original one. <clears throat> like that. And there you go. So we'll pass it through here. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. Okay, so right here, this little bracket, I hadn't cut yet. That one, that little clip, I mean. Because we're actually, we're gonna clip it onto here. If we can right there sorry right there see it even looks original then this let's see I can, I don't know. this we're gonna break this off there's no there's nowhere to to clip it and then that little clamp we're gonna we're gonna take out too there's nowhere to clamp that onto okay so I ended up passing it under here, under this windshield washer fluid hose, under here, or on top, and then under the bottom, so we can go like this, see that, and then under, so we can go under this little thing right there, like that, then we're going to zip tie it, I went under here, under this little bracket under here, and then we're going to zip tie this out of the way look at that okay we're done with the engine big size so through there under here boom i put zip ties next to the other little brackets that were on there you see that right there two and then the last one is right there let's see see that it's actually it's zip tied onto onto the windshield washer fluid hose this one here okay inside this is all we're going to use just the bracket the face the knob the little allen key and then quarter inch drive ratchet with eight millimeter socket for these bolts here for these this one and then this one for my bracket i'm gonna have to cut this straight down here because uh, it gets in the way of the obd connector okay that's how it looks after you grind it out i took a <clears throat> i took a, a file and just filed down the corners around again so you don't you're not cutting yourself later on i'm gonna take some permanent marker and just you know paint that in there since I don't know I'm picky but let's see if uh, it's gonna work okay see so it'll be like that we'll put the put the nuts back in there and you'll have your switch right there okay so we got the switch here we installed the the label the face of the switch just like that and then there's a little slot here for that pin right there. You put it there and then it'll be this nut over there. 
Okay, like that. I tightened it with a 13 millimeter um, deep socket. And I just kind of did it with my hand, you know, like this. And then pretty good. I don't think you need an actual wrench. on. I'm scared I might uh, mess up the sensor from the inside. Or the switch, I mean. All right, so before you put on the knob, grab the little switch nipple that's on, on under the knob and then turn it all the way to one, all the way counterclockwise. And then you see that little slot right there for the knob? You put it to one and then you tighten that. All right, now we're just gonna install this back with the nuts and then put it on five and then go see what it does. Okay, that's it right there. Um, I pushed this bracket a little bit to bend it to kind of, I don't know, I wanted it to be flush with the uh, the same angle as the, the this piece, the dash or whatever. Okay, you want to check with the key, put the key forward or your push button on, on accessory mode. Put it on one and then press the button. Let's see, can you see it? Yeah, it's got to light up. And that's it. Just move your cable out of the way. Zip tie it to something. And then put it on five and go let it rip. I heard the transmissions don't really like you switching on and off from level one through five. So we put it in five. We're going to leave it there and see, see how it does. All right. Okay. So... Driving pretty normal. I mean, I'm not, I'm not stepping on it or anything. Just trying to get a feel of the transmission to see if it likes level five, I guess. Truck does sound different, just like driving normal. It sounds like you can hear the turbo a lot more through the exhaust. At a stop, it sounds a little. It's almost like a slight his tune for me at least that's that's what i that's what i feel or hear so that's pretty cool i like that uh, we're gonna drive it a little bit more normal and then i'm only gonna do like some slight pulls off the stop we're gonna do a slight pull we're going about 35 miles per hour or yeah like 30 